A lot of things that Michigan has to quote unquote clean up after their first game against Notre Dame. I, I thought it was a disaster in a lot of ways. Not, not as close as the final score indicates, let's put it that way. But I think it starts with uh, what to do with quarterback Shea Patterson. Obviously, he's a talented player. Even in that game, his talent flashed. But it seemed to me like they were trying to make a square peg fit into a round hole uh, by having Patterson come out of. Uh, you know, uh, regular snaps under the center, play action passes, dropping into the pocket, rather than playing to those obvious strengths, which is throwing on the run, uh, making plays outside the pocket, uh, putting the defense on its heels because he has that ability to get out to the edge and put pressure on the leverage on the sides. Uh, play to that. And they got a couple games to do that. Uh, now they can beat Western Michigan. They can beat SMU with Harbaugh's traditional offense. They can beat them with their backup quarterbacks. But what they have to do in these games is develop a strategy with Patterson that plays to his strengths, work on that in these two games so they're ready for that Northwestern road trip and when Nebraska comes to town. That starts everything. I mean, their defense has to play better, all those things. And the other thing that's a benefit of this, their offensive line is still tr struggling. So to make him a pocket passer from that standpoint doesn't make sense. So begin by... Playing to Shea Patterson's strength, and maybe, maybe Michigan can come along. Because I think he's a pretty talented kid. I know a lot of people are like, oh, he's supposed to be so great and do this. Well, he can do that, I think, if they let him do what he does best.